In this fun problem, we're asked to compare these points without actually plotting them. And I like that question because that means what we're using here is our intuition about the coordinate plane. We don't have to find the exact details. Just think about where these points are without plotting. That's the key. So I'm just going to sketch out my thoughts here. We have our x and y axis and our point 0, 0, the origin. And now we're going to compare these eight points. First, they ask, which point is farthest right? In other words, if I plot a point here, right, the further to the right it goes, what value is increasing? Every step I go, if I move from here to here, what's happening? What's changing? Well, the x value will be increasing, right? We'll be adding, I'm going to write, let me use a different color here. Let's say I start here at some point x, y. Well, to move this way, I have to add to the x value something, some positive amount. And the y value could stay the same, or if it goes up a little bit, the y value would increase. But the point is, when this number is the greatest positive value, it will be furthest to the right. And you can think about it in, as a physical point as well. If I had uh, the point 2, 1, Let's say right here. Okay, that would be this far to the right. If I had negative 2, 1, that's a lower x value, I move more to the left. Oops, plot it up here. Right, it would be over here, about negative 2, 1. But if I move, if I increase the x coordinate here, I'll end up over this way. Maybe 4, 1 is over here or something. Because this has the greatest value. And that's, if you want a, the fancy term, this is called the ordinate, right? The x value is called the ordinate. So as the x value increases or the ordinate increases, we go to the right. So which one of these has the highest x value? This is 2, but this is 3, so 3 is the furthest so far. Up, oh, and here it is, 6 is the furthest to the right. So the point that's furthest to the right has to be 6, 0. Which point is furthest left? Well, now we're looking for what? We're looking for the smallest ordinate, or x value. And the, 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 the point here with the smallest x value is this point right here, right? Negative 5 is smaller than all the, all the other ordinates. And that point is negative 5, negative 5. Then they ask, which point is above all the others? Well, now we're looking at height, and that's the y value. And as, as the y value increases, we go up and up and up. Right? Let's say we have some point here where it's like negative 1 and then 1 and a half or something. Okay, well, we're about 1 and a half high here, but then we move up. So we increase the y value maybe to 2 and then 3 and so forth. So now it's really not the x value that matters so much, but the y value. And the, and the, the exact term for that, of course, is the abscissa. Not that we need to know that right now, and I think I'm spelling it right, abscissa. As the abscissa increases, the y value, we go up on the y-axis. And here, we want to look for the point with the highest y value, which in this case is this point right here, with an abscissa of 6. So that's negative 4, 6. So even though the x value is really low, it's really far to the left, it's also the highest point. And then we want to know which point is below. So what, which one of these points has the lowest y value. Well, that's this point right here of 0, negative 6. So you can really look just at the different parts of the coordinates to understand where it is on the graph in terms of left and right and up and down. And that's really all plotting is about. Left, right, up, and down. So I hope this helped.